What's going on everyone? Garnet Walters here and um, I'm going to do a follow-up video on how did I find those patches for the patch that I made last week. Um, but before I get into that, um, I'd like to give a special shout out to all my subscribers. Um, thank you all for your support. It really means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and also press on the bell so you know when a new video comes out. All right, so let's get into the video. So uh, the way that I made this patch goes like this. So I have here the Piano Rose patch. I just named it that just because of the instruments that I'm using. I go to this plus sign here. And then this menu pops up. I go to software instrument. And um, I go to where it says the number of channels. It says one there. I'm going to get that. And I'm going to turn it into a four. Use four channels because that's what I used last week. All right. So I create that. And then four instrument channels pop up here. All right. So now I click on one channel there, and then I'm going to go into instrument. And I will also, I click on the arrows right there. Click on the arrows. And the first sound that I used was a piano sound in Keyscape. So I'm going to open up that there. Keyscape's open. Um, I believe the sound that I used was studio piano. Studio. Right? So let that load up for a little bit. Right? Getting that sound right there. All right. And I had already pre programmed my faders. So this first fader right here is working there. However, I see a problem. The problem is this. What I need to do is I need to have this fader move with this fader here. And I'm going to name this piano, just to be clear. So what I do is I click on this fader here, and then I see where it says piano. Click on that, click on volume, and now when you see this fader move, this fader right here should move as well, like this. That's how you know you got it. So the next sound that I had was a Rhodes. So I uh, click on those arrows there, scroll down, go to instruments, spectrosonics, keyscape, stereo, and I believe I had a Rhodes patch. And I think, I want to say it was probably, a, hmm, let's say it was a studio suitcase, I think. I think that's what it was. So that loads up. Now, I have already preset the, uh, this fader with my keyboard. And the keyboard that I'm using, actually, is a MIDI controller. It's the MPK88 from Akai, right? So now it's showing there, but the fader here isn't moving. So I click on this fader, and you know what? Let me name this Rhodes so I can it'll be seen. There we go. So I click on this there, right? I look for Rhodes. Boom! There's Rhodes. Then I go to volume. And now those, that fader is moving. So now I have the piano here. Then I have a rose. Now, I'm going to go and add my pad. So the way I add my pad is I'm going to click on this here, this channel. Then I'm going to, I'm not going to press the arrows here because the sound that I want is actually in the logic library. So I'm going to scroll down here, and then at the bottom, there's a menu called Legacy. That's where you get all the old um, Logic sounds from. So I go to Legacy, click on Logic. 
then I look for synthesizers then I look for synth pads then I look for that sound it's called blue carpet right so there it goes it pops up right there right so I have it in the third I should have it in the third uh, channel there a third fader right the third fader is moving there but it's not moving down on this part so see the third fader look for blue carpet boom go to volume right and there you go so we got that lined up and then finally I go to this last fader here and then after I go to the same menu here again I go to legacy go to logic and I go to strings uh, pop strings there we go the pop strings then I go to warm string section right so that shows up I have the fourth fader going to that but again it's not lining up with that fader is not moving so I have to click on that fourth fader go to where it says warm string section click on that click on volume and then there you have it so um, that's pretty much how you create you know the patch and that's how you assign the faders that you have here in this screen here with the ones down here right so I have the piano at the first fader So that's how you create a patch in main stage and you can just use whatever your imagination you know dictates so if you want to add synth brass you want to add uh you know bells and all what other instruments you want you can go ahead and do that just remember that when you want it to fade properly you have to go to one of the faders here and then you got to assign it to whatever instrument channel that you want it to be assigned to and then just make sure you click it on volume so you'll know that it's only going to mess with the volume because if you do it on anything else like if you put it on mute when you put the fader all the way up it'll mute it and if you put the fader down it'll unmute it so you want to make sure that it's always on volume so I hope that this helps um, again thank you for checking out this video if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much I really appreciate it um, if you haven't subscribed again press the subscribe button and also press the bell so you know when a new video comes out um, and if you know anybody that you know wants to try and create their patches and stuff send them this video thank you so much for your support I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day peace